uh, powerful opportunity for me to just go through this experience of, you know, writing what I feel in my heart that people might connect to. And, you know, maybe some songs you don't connect to, maybe some you do, who knows? But uh, I'm just grateful, I'm so grateful. And, um, you know, we've had some pretty solid success with the first single and maybe, uh, maybe there's more success with this album, who knows? The full length album or maybe it takes a while to, to kind of get my name out there but um i just want to take a, a minute just to thank a couple people and uh, you know i'm not sure if they get sick of hearing thank you uh but um yeah just a couple people that have been in my corner and, and cheering me on you know, everybody needs a few people like this so i'm just gonna go for it um and let them know uh connor flanagan you might know him if you're kind of in that christian uh, pop hip hop circle or the Catholic scene. Um, dude was just in like Germany and Poland, and um, I joke with him all the time, but I'm pretty serious when I say that he's just an icon to me and somebody that I really look up to, even though we're pretty similar in age. He's been at this for a while and just gives so much time to me, uh, even how busy he is with his own music career and everything that he's got going on in his life. Uh, second, just want to thank. Jack Murray, um, my producer, uh, you know, there's so many times during the time of creation that I would have gave up, uh, easily or thought a song sucked. <laughs> um, and he had the vision to kind of bring those songs to life and make them what they are. A few of them especially ended up sounding like I never thought they could. And, um, but they sound exactly like I imagined them, if that makes sense. Like, especially Graham, especially Flower in the Field. Um, oh, Grace came out to be something that I'm really proud of. And finally, Keep the Heart. Uh, don't tell anybody, but he's on the vocals in the background. So get yourself a producer that believes in you, um, that's willing to take the time with you and teach you. Uh, and most importantly, who's patient with the process. Um, never pushing things to move along faster than they, they can or need to or should. And then lastly, uh, just to my wife, you know, I said in a post yesterday that um, I'm just so thankful for her for pushing me and really just like allowing me the space to be away from the family to do this thing. Um, she knows it makes me happy. I mean, that's, that's the core of it, but also uh, she really believes in the talent and knows that over time you know if I put the time into the craft then maybe it could be something a little bit bigger than just friends and family and you know uh, a couple hundred people streaming it or whatever so um that sun's coming for us hey man it's a new day you know and um in some ways I feel like I've I've arrived at that point where I've pushed this thing uh, as much as I could and um you know, we'll see, see what happens. But uh, I just want to thank you guys once again and um, encourage you to whatever gifting or talent you think you might have or what, whatever it is that people are encouraging you to go for and maybe you're scared or you, you don't feel like you have the talent or you're just not sure about yourself. Um, I'd encourage you, you know, one, my advice at least is just pray about it, think about it, spend some time in quiet, um, and then two, get yourself around some people that can encourage you and support you because, you know, it takes an army, it takes a village, not just to raise a kid, but to, to raise grown ups <laughs> who become childlike and try to go after their dreams. So thank you so much. Love y'all.